Ain't no room for the haters, I got time for jealousy I'm too focused on the music, the money and where I'm headed If it rain on my parade, I'ma get an umbrella Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to add motion blur to your time lapses in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. So, let's get right into it. Alright, guys, so this process is actually really easy. It takes less than like literally 10 seconds to do. So, first, you want to do is if you haven't already, open a new project. I'm just going to keep mine untitled. But I've got to change it because there's another one. I just put two at the end. Then I'm just gonna open that up. Then what you want to do is import your clip. So I'm gonna use this time lapse. Didn't seem to work. I'll drop it there instead. All right. Now that I've got it onto my timeline, I want to go to because this time lapse goes for like 40 seconds. I'm gonna speed it up a bit just for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna sorry. I'm going to speed it up by three, five hundred percent, so motion blur will be easy to add, and now it's only a seven second time lapse, now I'm just going to hit enter and see if that's rendered, yep that seems rendered, okay so now moving on to actually doing it, you want to right click on it, you want to right click when, so you want to deselect the clip, right click, on it, then you want to go down to speed and duration. Then you want to go to time interpolation, I think is how you pronounce it. And you want to change it from frame sampling, which is the default, to frame blending. Um, if you want it to be slow mo, so basically it's opposites. So if you want motion blur for time lapse, it's frame blending, and optical flow if you want smooth slow motion. So I'm going to hit frame blending and I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to hit enter and let it render out so it's smooth. Okay, I don't know what this green screen's doing, but now you can see. Okay, well, because that green screen's being a bit annoying, I have no idea what that is. If someone can drop a comment why that's there, that thing. If someone can drop a comment why that's there, that would be really helpful. But as you guys can see, kind of there's a bit more motion blur to it. So when you guys do this with like cars and stuff, it'll look really good. Or like long exposure time lapses, they motion blur looks really good with more moving objects than just a cloud. But that's it for this video, guys. As I said, really easy and short. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.